here today with third year head coach at Baker University, Sean Dooley. Um, coach, here today we're going to um, preview your, your upcoming season for Hack Media Day. Um, you know, first off, what are some keys um, to your team being being successful this year in that in that tough Harvard America Athletic Conference? Yeah, you're right about that, uh, Tyler. Is you know going into year three have uh, have learned very quickly how tough this league is um, going in night in night out, and uh, and it, it's proven that uh, on a national scene as well with uh, how the league has performed um, in Kansas City in March. So. Um, for us going in, into this year, I, I think uh, a couple things are key. Um, one, and, and we've talked about this with our guys uh, from all our returners starting last spring, is we all have to get better. Um, each and every one of them challenged it individually uh, with 11 guys returning um, from last year's team is that uh, we're not where we need to be, so we need to get better. And our guys uh, really bought in. Um, I feel like they've had a really good offseason starting all the way since last April. Um, guys have done a good job in the weight room and really uh, put in a lot of hard, um, hard work and, and time and effort over the summer to uh, improve their games and, and their fitness levels. So um, hopefully uh, all those things will, will help us. Um, also, I think one of the issues that we had uh, last year um, in a lot of games was, was finishing. Um, we were in a lot of close games, and it, uh, you know, which is going to happen in this league. But uh, you got to find ways to win, um, and so hopefully, being a year older, um, a little bit more mature, more experienced, um, have a better understanding uh, of what it takes to to not just compete with the teams in this league, but to to win those games, um, make those winning type plays in, in the crucial situations. So um, those are kind of combination of things um, that. Uh, hopefully will help us uh, along with getting better throughout the year. Um, I think that was another issue where you know, you're going to kind of have your peaks and valleys, but uh, we're, we're going to try hard to uh, continue to get better each and every day so we can be playing our best ball uh, at the end of the year. Brought in a new recruiting class um, this year. You know, signed five new guys, but then you'll bring in a total of seven new players to the floor. Um, you know, in, in what ways do you feel your team has been upgraded um, from from last season as you prepare for this year? Well, you, you said it right there. We, we've got five new um, guys. All those guys were freshmen, and then we also had two uh, guys that were with our program last year that were, were sitting out red shirt. And so seven new new bodies uh, total. Um, I think uh, one of the biggest things, the difference between this year and last year, uh, is we've, we've got a little bit more size than we did, um, especially in, in the post area. I thought that was a kind of a weakness for our club last year. Um, we, we weren't big enough, really got hurt on the boards and just didn't have that um, defensive presence at the rim. So uh, we brought in some size. Uh, hopefully that will, that will help us uh, with that. And then, and then again, um, you know, to get better, you got to bring in talented, talented players, and then you got to develop them when they're here. So, uh, you know, like I said, there's 11 guys that are returning um, from last year in our program, and uh, uh, they've worked hard. Like I said earlier, I'm confident that uh, each and all of them will continue to work hard and continue to improve um, during their time here at, at Baker. And then um, these the five new guys that are coming in are, are coming in, and they're and they're working hard as well and competing with our returners and um, I'm confident that uh, several of those guys will be able to contribute and help us throughout this year. Coach, thank you for your time and good luck this year. Thank you. Here today with senior guard EJ Carter. Um, EJ, you guys have been um, you know, into the preseason workouts in the last couple of weeks. What have you seen throughout these preseason workouts that you feel um, will help you guys you know, progress as a team this year? I mean, well, really, number one, I think, is the conditioning this year. Um, we're, we're just at another level conditioning-wise, um, and I feel like that's going to help us last into the end of games. Uh, I remember last season we lost a lot of big conference games at the very end because we didn't make the last couple of plays. And this year, uh, from the preseason, the coaching staff has really been focused on upping the, the level of conditioning and weightlifting so that our bodies are ready to to take on a season, you know, uh, practices, games, and all. So that's the number one thing. Number two, I feel the new size we got coming in is, is giving us another dimension to our game. Like last year, we were real, real, like, guard heavy, you know. And, um, I mean, we kind of run like a, 
it's almost like a four guard, like one big offense, you know. And we really never had an honest big. Now we have, you know, a bunch of six, eight, six, nines, you know, just in there that's ready to bang, ready to be enforcers, and that's going to add another dimension which should take us to another level this season. You know, along with conditioning and preseason, things like that, um, you know, what are some other key factors that you feel can take Baker to the next level, you know, to, to top four in the conference, to, you know, uh, of course, a goal to go to the national tournament. But, you know, what are some other keys that you feel um, will be necessary? Well, um, I feel like one of the biggest keys probably would be toughness. And, that, and you know, it, it's the difference between being tough, you know, and then I, I think being mentally tough. I feel like that. I feel. I feel like being being tough. You know, getting in there and wanting to bang around and get rebounds. That's just being just regularly tough, physically tough. You know, just being strong. It's different than being mentally tough. I feel like this year we're going to be a lot more mentally prepared for, uh, especially conference. You know, and the grind that it is and playing those top level teams. Like, you know, we got one of we got probably arguably the toughest conference in all of NAIA Division One, and um, you know every game. Is, is a toss up, you know, it's a coin toss. It can go either way. So this year, uh, I, I feel like we'll be more mentally prepared, probably because of the experience. I feel like this year, we'll, we'll have everybody come back, you know, and our, pretty, our team is pretty much back. Everybody has a year of, of experience now. They know what this hack game is about. They know what the league is about. They know what the season is about. And, you know, it shouldn't be a surprise to anyone, really outside of a few freshmen. And for those who are new, you know, newcomers, you know, uh, it's up to us returners to get them into the swing of things and get them hip to it all, you know, quickly so that they know right off the bat. You are a senior this year. You're a returning all-conference player. Um, you know, how do you, how do you approach this season um, from a leadership standpoint? And, um, you know, what are your goals um, as far as personally and with the team? Well, first of all, um, my teammates look at me as well as the coaches and myself look at me as, you know, a veteran right now. You know, I'm a hack, I'm a Heart of America veteran right now. Uh, I've been here for three years. I mean, well, two years, this will be my third. And um, I should know how it, how it goes. You know, I've seen the ups, I've seen the downs. And I know what it takes. You know, I know that, you know, the you can you can be a very, very talented team and still lose because the team outworks you. You know, I know that you can work hard for 38 minutes and lose because the other team worked hard for 40. You know, the little things, the intangibles, I know all that stuff counts. And, you know, I'm just trying to be a great leader this year and make sure everybody's on the same page, make sure that, uh, um, you know, I'm that general that doesn't point into battle and tell people to go fight for me that I go in there and I lead the fight and um, pretty much just, you know, spearhead, you know, a movement or a transition into this team, you know, becoming, you know, high level, which is where I think it should be. EJ, thank you for your time. Good luck this year.